Welcome back everybody to the 8-Bit Challenge. This is episode 61 and a very special episode we have here because it is a moment where the current challenger, Novabug, leaves the series, bows out and goes into the distance, the long horizon. And a new challenger, a new warrior, steps forward, mutant caterpillar. We'll see more of him later on when I introduce him. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the final challenge from Nova Bug to me. This is Arkanoid 2 on the Commodore 64. Very apt we go out on this because it was Arkanoid 2 on the Spectrum that we started with way back on challenge number one three years ago. Um, yes, he actually threw me a curveball here. I thought he was going to pick me uh, the CPC version, but he's picked the C64 version and uh, um, I didn't get on with it very well. I think the ball physics is absolute bollocks. It speeds up, which is fine. That's all the other versions do that as well. But the trouble is with this version, when it speeds up, it completely skews into a different angle, completely different direction, has caused me deaths and even game overs, and immense anger has followed. So, not very impressed with the ball physics in this at all. It's terrible. Um, but basically, he's got to level 10, and I've got to beat, um, I've got it over here, so I'm 116,260, I think it is, something like that. Um, but what we're going to do once we play this, so I'm going to talk about oil as well, the previous challenge, during this gameplay. We're then going to follow it up with about 25 minutes of me talking through our past games, the past 60 uh, games that we've played, with screenshots, so I hope you'll enjoy that. Following that will be the introduction of the new challenger, Mutant Caterpillar, so you'll get to see what he looks like. And before I forget, let me just have a big, send out two big shout outs. Number one is to Bruce Downander, literally, um, who designed the Mutant Caterpillar um, character. So thank you very much, mate. It's very, very cool. I'm very happy with it. And a big shout out goes out to Leo as well, who designs all my 8-bit challenge thumbnails. And, and a few other bits and pieces so thank you as very uh, very well very much to both of you for doing that and following that will be my first challenge to him um, to mutant caterpillar and uh, it will go on 62 63 64 whatever you know it won't be 8-bit challenge series 2 it will just keep going on the numbers so make sure you take note I will include his Mutant Caterpillars YouTube channel the link in the video description of this video so you can go to that channel and hopefully subscribe to him where you can keep uh, an eye on an eye on the even numbered challenge videos because you'll need to know uh, where the next video challenges are coming from so it's just not mine it's his as well so you need to know when he's going to do them so subscribe and then you'll be notified of it so yes, we have come to past. Uh, Zeus has squished Novabug. Completely squished him. I think you recognised that from the last video. He states that I have beaten quite convincingly, and I did. It was a huge run, but we'll talk about that, as I said, during the uh, after this game. And you're probably wondering why, some of you, why is Novabug glowing on this thumbnail? It's because Zeus has struck him down by lightning. Or in a nice way moved him along a little bit he's gone into the distance now a noble warrior he was he faced Zeus he failed but nonetheless played very well but the, you know it's been it's been fun it's been good times it's been quite a few laughs here and there a few annoyances now and then me too I've wanted to literally face palm him a couple of times through the screen because he's been so miserable and moody but I've managed to pick him up and he's uh, got back on track uh, certain parts so that you can tell when he, he, he enjoys certain games so but yeah it's been great it's been it's been fun I've really enjoyed it and the series will continue so with that in mind we need to get on with this challenge don't we and uh, I'm not too confident because like I said I'm not getting on with the ball physics at all it's uh, it's rather annoying to say the least uh, I could play with mouse a friend of mine was going to send me a neon mouse, but no, I'll stick with keys. A joystick is a lot of crap. Well, when you're playing with like a Quickshot 2 Turbo, it's, it's no good for this game, so it's keyboard it is. So we're going to play with that, and uh, right, we need to press uh, fire. 
and uh, see how far we can get. This is level one, obviously. Sometimes I think, it's, and that's another thing, I don't like the way the first moment you fire the ball off the bat, it flies it off at such an acute angle, you've got to chase it across the screen. And I'm playing it on the 64C, original hardware. I'm playing keys, I'm using C and V. No, sorry, V and B, I think it is actually. And shift is a fire button. But yeah, I'm um, not too confident, but we'll see. Anyway, let's talk about the last game, because this is a good chance to do it, because this is quite an easy level. Oil's well. Um, yeah, now, um, this is going to be a first. He completed the game, like I said, and he beat my score. However, judging it, looking at it very carefully, I think this is the first time in the series and hopefully the last, that one of us, in this case me, is going to have to insist on a DQ. Because I made it very clear in the stipulations not to point harvest, and there was many, 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 many times that a gold cup, which is worth a thousand points, was nowhere near him. Was nowhere near the pellets that he needed, and he collected far more than he needed to. To the point that, uh, yeah, he kept getting life after life after life, a bit like Nebulous. So, um, yeah, sorry, mate, but, um, you want any then? Uh, like it all over it, I don't give a fuck. I'm DQing you on that one. Sorry. I'm just fucking with you. No, he, um, he beat me. That's all there is to it. So, uh, yeah, um, that's one of my favourite games on the XL, so a little bit miffed about that one. Rather annoyed, but um, yes, it's one of those games where you, you can point harvest if you're careful with the timer. But what other stipulations could I do? You know, one life, see how fast you can complete it. And I thought, let's have a look at the times just for interesting sake. So I thought, um, I'll have a look because I didn't collect. Oh, because I didn't collect as many gold cups, I'll probably finish it quicker. Turns out he finished it 40 seconds quicker than I did. <laughs> So there we go. So um, yeah, that's it. So oil's well goes to Novabug. So well done, well played. Uh, I told you you'd like that game, wouldn't you? You got me out. Well, even though you're out of the series now, I've introduced you some to some good games, interesting games, some you haven't even seen before. Opened your eyes a bit. So that brings the score to thirty-seven twenty-three to me. And as he says, I've absolutely walloped him in this series. The series will go on. It's not going to reset. It's not going to become 8-bit challenge 2. It's still going to be 8-bit challenge, but it will. the episode numbers will go up. So it will be episode 62, 63, 64, and all that. And also what I will do is maybe if I hit 100 episodes, every 100 episodes, if it gets that far, I will invite the previous challengers to come back and do a one-off special, a bit like a Doctor Who anniversary special, you know, when all the Doctors come in. See, look at that, that ball, that's what I'm talking about. The ball, it speeds up, that's fine, but I don't agree on it changing its complete angle, because that's cost me a whole game before, it really has. That's why I don't like this version. If only the ball phys uh, physics was corrected. Half the time I can't remember which way to go, left or right, I think I'm going to take left with this one. There's some levels that are far easier on the spectrum than they are with this because the collision detection is very questionable on this. Oh. See, I did it again. It just flies off at a different angle and it's done that on the bottom half of the screen and, and I couldn't catch it. Ridiculous. Come on, one more brick. sake. Oh, it can get frustrating sometimes because the ball gets quicker and quicker. There we go. It doesn't want it, does it? Now. Yes. Um, we go right yet. Yeah. Uh, uh, God, that was just level one. And I don't like, like this on this, this level on this version either because the bricks are very low compared to the speed of the ball. I can control it much better on the Spectrum version. Ooh. 
Yeah, it's um, oh, it's not good. Yes, yeah, so one door closes, another opens. So this is a very um, solemn moment. This is the last exchange me and Novabug will be doing on the 8-bit challenge. So his reply to this, as far as what he feels, whether I lose this challenge or whatever he says about this video, will be most likely in the comments only. It certainly won't be a video because that is the new challenger, which I'll introduce to you, as I said, after the um, not after this video, um, after this game, but after the 60-game lowdown that I will do, like Novabug did. My it would be it be my thoughts on all 60 games. A brief uh, explanation of how it came to be. That was bloody close. Oh, I'm much more. If I had the mouse, and he didn't say that, it didn't stipulate, did he? As part of the game, I could have chosen the mouse if I had one in my possession. But I thought, oh, no, let's see how I go for the keys. Joystick is out of the question. I wasn't getting anywhere with that. And this bloody game always gives me loads of R's as well. Another bit I don't like about this game is sometimes you shoot the ball at such an acute angle it takes forever to co go up the screen and come back. You're like ticking your life away really. Yeah, I didn't expect this game at all. I was dreading some sort of game. I don't know. I suppose I could reveal what games I was fearing he'd choose. Yeah, I'll do that after this, um, after this, because I want to concentrate. Laser, that's what I want. Oh, should I get, I'll get the extra life. Oh, I've got a B. Which way do I go? Oh, no. I do like this on the Spectrum version, but not this version. Because uh, it just doesn't... Uh, said the ball physics are bollocks, and it just... What was that? A catch. Oh, that's useful. I'm on level three, I've got a way to go yet. So, um, all of our breakout games have come out very close. I mean, I chose our and be honest. I'll be honest with you. And I am being honest. I'm making excuse. I was a little bit um complacent. Complacent with the first challenge, Arkanoid 2 on the Spectrum, because it was the very first video, and oh, for fuck's sake. And I thought, well, I'm not going to put my heart and soul into it, because to start off a game while beating him, that was my excuse anyway. And then he changed me Arkanoid 1 sometime later on the Spectrum, and uh, I think we both got to the same level, but I beat him on points. And we played Batty, got to the same level, but he beat me on points. Slaughtered him on crack out. With less lives as well, if I remember right. He had five lives or six, I don't know, and I only had three, and I still walloped him. So apart from crack out, our breakout challenges have been right on the finish line. Oh, oh well, I got that one, but oh, I just... I really didn't want this level on this version. Oh, see what I mean? Look at the change of angle. It's, I don't like that. It's so unfair. I mean, this has worked out for me, I hope. Because that's the angle I want. But it's done that so many times to me at the bottom of the screen. I've lost the ball. Really cruel. Uh, go that way. Whoa. Oh, I like this level. I quite like this level. Done a long play of this version and the uh, Arkanoid one on the C64. Cheats. Training used, obviously. Oh, that's close. I'm going to start concentrating a bit now because I really get that there. I do not want that R. Perfect. Oh, I'm tempted to get the extra lies, but it's, I've got to get to level. Oh, what's this one? Did I get anything there? Oh, was that it? Ugh, I must have missed it. Yeah, oh, well, should have got that extra life to begin with. If you get laser, Darren, keep it. Ah, here we go. <clears throat> you ask and you shall receive. Now, bloody keep it this time. <clears throat> No, I don't want that. 
<coughs> now I'm going to go left on this next level because um, I prefer right on the spectrum, but the, the the level on this version is horrible. So I'm going to stick with this version. Oh, uh, this level. <coughs> Again, I don't like this level. Looks like some sort of bug. It's the Nova bug. I'm going to squash him. Him and his bug army are coming along with the ant spray. Oh, lovely. Yes, nice. Oh, that's that's good. I'll keep that. Thank you. Yes, I will keep that. Let's make sure I've got one on that. All right, that's it, lovely. No, go on that. No! Oh, you prick. What am I going to pick that up for? Pete, might as well grab that. It's an extra life. Three more bricks. <clears throat> Two more bricks. Oh, he's gone 100 mile out. There we go. Uh, oh no, we go that way. I can never remember. Oh yes, that's, that's okay. I'm quite happy with that one. Round six. Oh, nice. Oh no. Oof. Get that laser. Oh, that was a nice trick there. Got in right between those two capsules to get the one I wanted. Multi ball. Should have really kept the laser actually because it's quite a simple level. One. There's nothing in the way. Let's get that laser. Yeah, that's more like it. I don't know why I bothered with the multi ball on that one. Level done. Thank you. Round seven. Not bad level. Not bad. Well, we'll grab that, because the pod add us points. You could kind of point harvest on this as well, if you had a laser. Um, just keep shooting the aliens and, and make sure you keep the ball and don't exit. But it's very tricky. Oh. Uh, um. oh, good shot, old bean. Ghost. Oh no, ball stuck. Oh, thank you. That was a useful nudge. See, look at the way the ball changed its angle there. That's just ridiculous. Programmer should have double checked this. I don't mind the ball getting faster. It's part of the challenge, but don't change your direction when you haven't hit anything, just in mid flight. There it goes again. It's got fast. It's got fast. I understand that, but. You know. Spectrum version doesn't do that. Oh, nice shot. Oh, how about that? Round eight. Um, yeah, okay. I can't remember what the other round eight is. <clears throat> oh, go straight in it. That's oh, it says <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. Oh. Did it again nearly. I've got the score written, I've got a beat right on, resting on, on the top half of my 64C, which is sitting on my lap, so I know what I've got to beat. It's 116,280. We're a bit of ways yet. That's what I hate when it goes like that. It takes ages. Yeah, as much as I, um, we wound each other up, and I've certainly wound him up, but that's my thing. <laughs> it means I get a kick out of it. That means it's good, and it's good for the viewers, entertainment purposes. Um, I'm going to miss uh, Mrs. Miserable, but, you know, in other words, but for backside. There's been a, there's been a couple of occasions I've really had to pick him up. I think he'd acknowledge that. I'll explain that shortly in the rundown. But um, I do I love his presentation of it. I always look forward to him. <laughs> and I was I definitely <laughs> usually I watch him pretty much straight away. But his last one oh that's a crusher ball, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yes. Um, oh should I grab that life? No, I need it. Uh, laser here, yeah, we'll grab that, I think. Um, 
is challenge number 58. I knew he was going to be a miserable fucker after the after the minor 2049er deal. <laughs> and he did. He, he was playing video pool. He looked like he'd just been fucking sat on something sharp. He was not happy. <laughs> Filthy mood. This actually isn't a bad level. I know you've got to hit these bricks twice. But it's not so bad. I can't remember what round nine of the other side is. Can't get these gold ones. I've had, a, I've had a quick glance. I know I'm on round nine, but I can see I've hit 102. That's obviously 102,000. I've got, I ain't got many lives though, I've only got two. So I've got to... It's going to be close anyway. Apart from Krakow, all of our breakout challenges have been right to the wire, literally down to the score. Same levels, and it has been same levels. Arkanoid 2, Arkanoid 1 on the spectrum, both of them. Same level. You got more score on one, I got more score on the other. And then Batty on the spectrum. Again, same level. But you got slightly more score than I did. So yes, not much between us really. So maybe breakout is both our forte. See there you go. That's that's alright, that's a good angle for this level. Come on, stay on that side. You know you want to. Ah. Well, give me a good token then. Give me a B. Give me a B for bastard. Or it could stand for warp. Oh, don't come back up down. Oh. If I can just get to the next round, I've got a fighting chance. Oh, it's changed its bloody angle again. Look at that, that's ridiculous. It'll never do that on the Spectrum version. Again, I don't know if it does it on the Amstrad. But it shouldn't do that. It doesn't do it on the Arcade. Just flying off a zillion miles an hour at a different trajectory. Oh no! Ah, no! Oh, oh! Oh, I've matched his level. Round 10, oh! Yes, actually, that's a good thing. It looks nasty, but there's a reason, actually. I'm happy with this level because the level 10 he was on had so many gaps that the ball tends to speed up very nastily and get caught in those gaps and then suddenly fly a million miles an hour whereas this there's no gaps just chip away so I've got, I've got to get to 106 oh, another change of angle 116 280 I don't like it when it does that. But no, oh thanks very much, a bloody R, anything but that. <laughs> Heart's racing a bit now. Oh, could have given me a token, you bastard. Actually, I don't mind it hitting those sands. I get 200 points every time I hit one, so it all adds up. See, 200 points every time I hit one. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God, this is it. Last life. I'm so close. I've got nothing left now. I've got to do it now. 116, 280. Oh no. Oh. 116, 280. I've got 114, 560. I can see that because the ball went up there slowly. I was able to look at that. Come on, come on. I've got to finish the fight between me and Nova on a high. He started it, winning streak. I've got to go out on a winner. 116, 20. Oh, this is still not even it. Well, it's finally at 115. I've got a horrible feeling this ball's going to start raising. That's alright, just keep hitting the satins, I don't mind. Yep, just keep hitting the satins. Oh. 6280. I'm 270 points behind. Oh, 50 points behind. I've done it. I don't. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Look at that, how close can you be? That's going straight in there, Z-E-U-S. 
<laughs> no, not Zeus Dad, sod it. Space number one. Oh, I don't like one, do I then? I? Yeah. <laughs> oh my word. I can't, I can't see what that was. I think I've beaten by about 50 points, but the more importantly, I beat him by half a second. Half a second. Did you see that? The moment I beat your score, I died. The moment I beat your score, the ball zoomed at a completely impossible angle at a million miles an hour, and I died. If I didn't get that last brick, I would have lost it by a few points. And it's weird, the scoreboard never shows them. I noticed that on Overbudge run as well, I didn't show the score. But you can always, I know I beat it, I think it's, I think it's 116, 450, something like that. I've beaten by about 150 points. That last brick did it. I think I hit a Saturn, which actually did beat his score, and quickly hit a brick and died. So literally, half a second away. <laughs> Victory to Zeus. Yes, 38 to me, 23 to Novavug. Arkanoid 2 on the Commodore 64 comes home to the Zeus. So best out of five for breakouts, I win. <laughs> yes. Fuck it now, are my adrenaline's pumping? Oh man, he's got to be sick right now. Are you sick, Nova? Are you actually looking at the screen, shaking your head, thinking, oh, fuck, well, you got to the point where, don't surprise me, don't surprise me. No, you're sick as a dog, aren't you? That is bad, I mean, half a second from dying. And I just nailed a satin and a brick in time. Fuck, there's no way I would have caught that ball. Couldn't catch that. That has got to be the closest challenge we've ever done. Seriously, it can't be any closer than that. And when we do the rundown on the games now, which is what I'm going to do, uh, we can talk about them um, and my thoughts on them. And I'm certainly going to do it with this. Uh, yeah, we've had some we've had some games where we've, we've, we've matched the same levels as, as each other, but that Renegade was another close one. But that is sick. <laughs> well, there we go. So, victory to me, Arkanoid 2, Ranger Doe on the Commodore 64. Just. And that was with keys. Ugh. So, overall score, 38 to me, 28, uh, 23 to Novabug. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to finish. Um, well, halfway through this episode, we're going to finish the challenge between me and Nova. I'm going to give you my rundown, my thoughts of the 60 games we've played. Um, or 61 in this case. And then... I will introduce the new challenger and I hope you make him welcome and we'll see what he can do against the god. Right. On with the rundown. Arkanoid oh, 2. Yeah. Get in there. So this is where it all started. Episode 1. Challenge number 1. This was Arkanoid on the ZX Spectrum. Um, 1 to 8k version and it all started from here when I saw a video I uh, just happened to click on a video net it was Nova Bugs video of doing Arkanoid 2 on a tubish high school challenge and I thought oh, that'd be interesting to sort of challenge another channel and um, because it was his video I decided to contact him and uh, he said yes and the rest was history we cracked on with it and I've got to say in my defense I was a little bit I went a little bit easy with him on this one because I thought I don't want to give him a video of me beating him straight away. That's not being cocky, because I can get to about level 17 or 18 on this version here without any cheats. But um, I think I got to the same level, but he beat my, he beat my score. I, I some, um, No, I, yes, I didn't beat his score, so I think it was something like that, but he won that one, so let's get on with the next one. He resp I responded to him with... Um, it was... Yes, that's right, it was Jumping Jack on the Zenix Spectrum, and my god, what a frustrating game for anybody this is, and I was very intrigued to see how his reaction would be playing this game. It is a real hair puller, really, really hair puller. The idea is you've got to get to the top of the screen, get through the gaps and avoid all the baddies, it's a fucking nightmare of a game. And I won that, I got to about level 7, so um, that's one all. I'll probably lose count of the score, but I'll, I'll tell you at the end of it, I think we know what the score is now anyway. Um, then he responded with, um, yes, a 
breakout game called Crackout on the Amstrad CPC. And I had a ROM where I only got half the lives he got. So it was decided, you know, agreed, okay, I'll have two attempts. And on my second attempt, I absolutely walloped him on it. I beat him. Got to about a level 13, I think it was. Um, so yeah, that's that. Was the, that was the second breakout, making it one all for that. And that was crack out. And then I responded with Target Renegade, which, if you listen carefully, is the music you can hear now. Target Renegade on the Commodore 64. Both completed the game, but he didn't beat my score, so that victory went to Zeus, went to me. He then responded with, say, combat on the Amstrad CPC, and I did get on with it very well at all. I didn't really know what the fuck I was doing in it, but I think I got to Purple Belt, uh, Purple Belt so I was quite happy with that, actually. Um, but nonetheless, he beat me on that one. I then responded with the notorious Dynamite Dan on the ZX Spectrum, a rock hard game, but a beautifully programmed one. And the sticks was to get as many sticks of dynamite as you can. He got three, I got five. So Dynamite Dan came home to Zeus. He then responded with Isotopes, which is basically a snake game. And I think we were all pretty good at snake. If most of us had mobile phones in the early 2000s, most phones, most mobile phones came with a version of snake, somewhat or another. And um, I scored somewhere like 700 and 1760. I, I really did well. Um, yeah, I didn't like the controls on it though, they were reversed. It took some uh, time to get used to, but I got there in the end and uh, yeah, I won that one. I then responded, oh fuck, BC Bill. One of my all time favourite games on the ZX Spectrum. And that fucking red dragon right in the middle of that screen. He's the baddest of motherfuckers in this game. He'll kill everything. And he hardly appeared on Novabug's run. Um, the stick was to get as high a year as possible, which you can see at the middle, bottom middle is the year Omita. And he got to something like number 50, I think it was, and I got to something like 41 or 2. But for 17 fucking years, 17 game years, I should say, in this game, that Red Dragon never appeared in his run. I had it so much harder, I completely outplayed him because of the difficulty. But the stick was to get to the year, and um, yep, he did it. Didn't like the way he did it, but um, it all counts, so it went down to him. That was the first one that really really stung me anyway moving on and he gave me manic mining had the cheek to challenge me at manic miner not the game itself because i sucked at the game but on the spectrum can you believe it he had the cheek to do that so i thought no i'm gonna play my heart out on this there's no way i'm gonna give a victory over just like that being challenged at a spectrum game a loser can't do that for the boys so I practiced and practiced, and lo and behold, within about a week and a half, I nearly completed the fucking game. And back in the day, I couldn't even get past level five. I was a Chucky Eggman. So that was a big victory to me, one of my best. I then responded, of course, with what I only knew what to do. Chucky Egg, the original version, the ZX Spectrum version. I got to level 25, and he had no joy playing as he couldn't get, got to level six, but, in fairness, he completely, compared to me, he was utterly hopeless at this game, and he admits it on the video, he's no good at it, and you can see it, it was quite comical actually. But that was another victory to Zeus. Um, he then responded with Yi yeah, Kung Fu on the Amstrad CPC, I did quite well, I got to the second round of Blues, which was somewhere like level 16, and he got to the, I think it was the third lot of Blues, so um, he beat me on that one, so that one went to, that one went to Novabug. I then responded, ah, yeah, another sour, bloody egg here. Renegade on the Zenic Spectrum 128K. Now, I know I'm a 10-loop man, at least, I, at least I've done that many times. But my run on this particular challenge ended in a loop 7 on the third level. By then, it was about 50 minutes bloody long, and I thought, that's enough. That'd do. And what does he do? He not only matches my loop, he matches my fucking level and beats me on score. Of all the levels and screens, he, he equals mine. He didn't, you know, he couldn't beat mine, could he? No. He couldn't die just before mine. No, he has to reach the exact fucking level and beat the score. So, 
That one went to him. I want a rematch one day. Uh, moving on. Tornado low level. This is where I got a little bit of um, justice in return of that Renegade. Tornado low level on the Amstrad CPC, also known as TLL. Uh, never played it really back in the day. I played its sequel, its Spectrum only sequel, Cyclone. I was pretty good at that, but. And I've got to say, this had some of the fastest scrolling I've ever seen on the Amstrad anyway. It was quite impressive. But after days of practicing on an emulator at work during my lunch breaks, lo and behold, I fucking beat him. I matched his level and I beat his score. So that was a great win for me. Over the moon with that one. Uh, <laughs> right. Now. <laughs> and for you of those that have followed this series, this is probably the best uh, video ever. Now, make a note. Go to 8-Bit Challenge 14. Pause it at roughly 19 minutes and 13 seconds of the video. Pause it. Go make yourself a coffee or get yourself a beer, whatever your poison. Come back in, kick back, unpause it and watch the comedy gold. The pure meltdown of Novabug. Never seen anything like it. It couldn't be written if it was tried. Couldn't be planned if it was tried. It was just beautiful for me. One of my favourite episodes. And I always go back to time and time again. Some points, you know, if I feel like a chuckle, this is the video I will go to. Um, the object was he had to beat me. I had to match my level and I completed the game, but he didn't. He died on the last tower. So, um, but oh, just watch that from Tower 7 onwards on Overbugs Run. You'll fucking laugh your head off. Great fun. Um, he then responded with uh, Shinobi on the Amstrad CPC, another big win for me. Never thought I'd ever do that. Um, I'm pretty good at it in the arcade, um, but I never never thought I'd get be any good at the Amstrad. And lo and behold, I completed it like he did. Now, we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves here, but this is a perfect example of the minor 2049er um, deal. But in this case, I knew what was coming. I saw sense even though I didn't need to, but I got to the last stage and realised I didn't have as many points as him, and he didn't put a stip on about point harvesting, so I deliberately died to collect the points. I didn't need to, because I forgot about the, bo the uh, b bonus magic points you get if you don't use your magic, so I would have beat him anyway, but there you go, I saw it. I wasn't trying, I, it was, I did outplay him in quite a few of these levels, because it was more of a speed run that I did on this. You could see me zooming through the levels, but uh, that was another big victory, and that hurt him. That really did hurt in that one. I then responded with Nebulous. I was cocky. Nebulous on the Amstrad CPC. I got to the very last tower um, because he regretted that I didn't pick it. And I thought, all right, I'll give him a little pick of it then. And um, yep, he completed the tower. So that one went to Novabug. And he responded with a Spectrum version, cocky little bastard. And um, he got to exactly the same place as I did on the Amstrad, literally. Tower 8, almost to the platform, and I completed it, showing an awesome trick at the beginning of Tower 8, if you want to go and check that out. Uh, I think that's uh, challenge number... Oh, I don't know now. Uh, 15 or 16, something like that. But yeah, it's a good little trick, that. Um, I was quite proud of that. So that one went to me. So I won the Nebulous Trilogy there. And then, ah, oh, this one is probably the one that hurt me the most. Pogo. It's a Qbert clone, a fantastic Qbert clone. And uh, I don't know how the fuck he did it. He got to level eight. And he was losing, like, he, kept, he died three times. There's no way, and he managed to get to Tower 11. Pyramid 11, I died on Pyramid 10. He did a neat little circle, little U-turn on level 10. It's just to click, I couldn't believe he did it. But in fairness, if you go back and watch that video, you'll hear me. I had troubles with the controls on two occasions. My control stuck. And I lost two lives because of that. So you never know. In my defense, he won it, but you never know. I did get screwed with the um, sticking of the control. So there we go. But he won that, and that bloody hurt. He then responded with a rather cack version of Kung Fu Master. I don't know how he's this good at this crap. I really don't. It was awful. I got nowhere in it and I hated it and we're moving on. He won that one. Not interested. Horrible game. I then responded with a game that I can play very well in um, real life and that's Steve Davis Snooker and Bastard Beats Me. 
It was all down to how many visits you can complete the table, and he beat me by one visit. Bastard. Oh, I, 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 oh. Bit upset about that one, must say. <laughs> oh dear. Yes. California Games. He responds with California Games and he challenged me a foot bag. <laughs> now, if you want to see an ultimate fail of someone being cocky, you see a lot of these videos on YouTube like cocky boxers and they get laid out, humiliated. This is a perfect example. Cocky bastard doing all these flashy tricks, left, right, and center, and he fails to leave a certain stipulation out. He leaves the gate open, and all I do is just bounce the ball on my head all the time, collecting the biggest points, the headbanger points, and I beat him. He completely outplayed me because of all these tricks, and I beat him. But hey, he didn't kick up a stink about that, didn't he? He didn't go, oh, I outplayed him, yeah, I should win that. No, it was all about points. You said that just like I did in minor. But we move on. But that was beautiful. This is where the wheels, as he said, started to fall off. I think at this point it was 11 9 to me. So, um, yeah, that was, <laughs> that was fantastic. Love it. Oh, dear. I always rub that in from time to time. I then responded with Street Fighter 1 on the Commodore 64, the USA version. And I heavily won that, mainly because um, I knew how to do the special moves. And I think he was a bit of a silly boy. He should have got himself his Quick Shot 2 Turbo out. He would have found it a lot easier than using a bloody Nintendo shape type of um, joypad. It's not that sort of controller for this game. It really isn't. So I won that one. I completed it. I come home to Zeus. He then responded with Metro Cross. Oh, yes. Um, yes, I beat him. I just literally outrun a couple of levels. I didn't need to do anything. Um, that hurt him big time, that did. And I did. It was a very frustrating game, that was. But uh, I beat him. And uh, that came home to me. That definitely hurt him, that one. Then I responded with another frustrating game on the ZX Spectrum. Jungle Fever. Uh, the idea is to see what screen you got to. And I got to screen number 20, which was um, several screens after a game completion. It's a very, very tricky game. It's a bit like Pitfall. Um, but yeah, that game will have your hair, will see you getting your hair pulled out. It really will. It's like having your teeth pulled. It's so frustrating, just like Jumpy Jack. But I won. Comes home. Uh, that comes home to Zeus Daz. And then he has the cheek to challenge me at Arkanoid 1 on the ZX Spectrum. And um, I matched his screen and I beat his points. I could not let him have two Arkanoid wins over me on the Spectrum. I just could not allow that. So that one came home to me. I won that one. Um, then I respond with, yeah, it's, it's crappy. It's, no pun intended, but yeah, it's a shit game because it's all about shit. You're a little dog. You've got to shit all over this certain gardener's garden and fill up the screen as much as you can. It got so boring for him, he even put it on turbo speed, <laughs> which I thought quite funny. Um, almost sent him asleep, but it is only a little 4K game. I thought it was quite funny. Dog shit and all that stuff, I thought it was quite funny, but I, I uh, actually completed a scream. I floored him on that game. Uh, so that came home to Zeus. And the bells. Oh. Yes, the bells. A crappy hunchback clone. He completes the game. So do I. I like miraculously beat him on points. And I think it was because I lost my first life way later than he did. So in other words, I outplayed him. I wonder what if he would have given me that if I didn't beat him on score. But that's the case, I beat him anyway. So, um, yeah, he couldn't believe that. But uh, he's definitely given me a far load more crap of games than I've given him. Unbelievable. Some of these are real, and there's still more to come. But that came home to Zeus. And then I responded with, oh, Tempest. One of my favourite games in the arcade of all time. Very nice on the Amstrad. And here's the sporting side of me. I know there's a couple more games I could have given, which there's no way he would have beat me. I could have got ten, roughly 10 wins on the trot. Up to this point, I had 7, I think. 6 or 7. But I thought, no, I'm not going to go easy on him, but I'm going to give him a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. I'll have the cheek to go on over to the Amstrad side, because I know he'll put more, uh, more heart and soul into it, and he did. And he said it took him all week to beat me, and he did. He matched my level, and he beat me by points, just. So that was an epic battle, that one. But that one went to... That one went to Novabug. 
Um, he then responded, he had the cheek to challenge me at Chase HQ on the Spectrum. A fantastic conversion on the Spectrum 128K. Beautifully done by Ocean. He gets to the last level on the boss, and I also reached the last level boss. Nearly completed it, um, and I beat him on point, so I was over the moon with that one. I was very surprised he didn't pick the Amstrad version, but there you go. He should have, but he didn't have, and I won that one. Then I responded with another driving game, Turbo Outrun on the Commodore 64. One of those rare occasions where a driving game is good on the, uh, on the Commodore 64. I completed this game without continuing, and he didn't. And at this time he was quite um, deflated, he was moaning, he was pissed off and depressed and unhappy, so it was really, really getting to him at this point. I think this was number 30 at this point. And I won that one anyway, with a game completion. Then he responded with a very nice homebrew game, Bullet Shooter on the Amstrad CPC, and um, he got to something like level 10 with a score of 57 million. I got to level 11 with a score of 570 million. I absolutely slaughtered him in this game. Beat his score by 10 times. Um, because my, my strategy was different. I went straight for the head and he kept taking out the sides. But, uh, you know, I've got to give him, take my hats off to him. He acknowledged it, he appreciated the gameplay. But that one went home to, um, to me, to Zeus. So at this point, I thought, okay, let's give him, let's give him a game I know he'll enjoy. And I know he beat me out. Let, us, let the god be uh, merciful, I should say. And he loved this. You can see his little face, glee, absolutely loved playing this game. And he, was, he really enjoyed that challenge. So I was pleased for him and that. It got him a little bit more motivated. That was, trying to, that was what I was trying to do for him. Um, after that, he gives me a oh, tapper. Um, I didn't really like the arcade game, but the Amstrad game was fucking awful. I couldn't even get past this stage. It was terrible. He slaughtered me on that, so we're moving on. I got nowhere in that. Um, Dragster. I gave him Dragster on the um, uh, Activision machine, actually, but a PS2 disc I gave him. And that was my winning, winning score. Uh, time, 5.94, and he got 6.01. Now, that might not sound a lot, but in Dragster world, that's a fucking big margin. It's very hard to break six seconds. And I got 594, that was seriously fast. So I knew he was gonna have a tough time trying to get that, and he didn't. So that one came home to me. Next he gave me, there you go, another prime example. Another shite game on the Amstrad CPC. Literally a type in. He's definitely given me more shit games than I gave him. I think he's got to one point where he said he's deliberately doing it. I was hoping I'd get frustrated. But anyway, this game was whack, and I'm not gonna talk about it. He won it, I hated it. Crud game. I follow it up with a yet another classic combat score on the ZX Spectrum 128 by Ocean Imagine. Actually, it wasn't by Imagine, it was by Ocean. Um, Stips was complete the game, get a high score as you can. He completed it, but he couldn't touch my score. So that one went to me. It's a fantastic game. That really is a great conversion. And um, then he responded with Double Dragon 2 on the Amstrad 6128. Very nice version indeed. Still not brilliant as far as playability, but by far the best 8-bit version. Um, he completed the game. I almost completed the game, but I didn't. Uh, I got slaughtered near the end, and he won that one. Yeah, that one went to Novabug. I then gave him Impossible. And in fairness, Impossible is one of the hardest games you'll ever, ever, ever play. And I actually completed it for the first and only time ever. There's eight levels. It's a fantastic game. You've really got to use your brains and be very clever. Very tough game. And yes, he got to level four, I think, and I did a game completion. So I was over the moon with that. So that one went to me. And then uh, he responded with River Raid on the Commodore 64. He got to something like um, Bridge 30-something. I got to something like 26 and... Uh, uh, yeah, he won that one, so um, wasn't very good at that. Didn't really like it back in the day. Then I gave him Dynamite Dan 2, the sequel. Again, um, I managed to do a run where I've, I got further than I ever did. I got to Island 6, and he got to Island 3 and then gave up because he was stupid enough not to collect a bomb in a certain area and locked himself in. There was no way he could get past the level, so he committed suicide. <laughs> so that was a victory to me. Dynamite Dan 2. 
Um, he then gave me Rodland, and uh, this would be embarrassing to play, really. If I had any of my mates suddenly come round and uh, see me playing this, you know, controlling little pixies and things like that, it'd be embarrassing. But, but surprisingly, I nearly completed the bloody game. I was a few levels away. I didn't expect that. He kept going for score. I just went for level. It was all about level, and uh, I win that one. So that was a surprise win there. Um, then I gave him the Rocky Horror Show on the ZX Spectrum. And he beat, ah, Bastard beat me by one second, one time unit, one time unit. I finished the game with seven units left, he finished it with eight, so he got that one from me. Annoyed. And then he gave me Mr. Freeze on the Amstrad CPC. Frustrating as fuck, but I stuck in there and I beat him by score. So we both did game completions, but I won by score, so that one came home to me. And then I gave him the insane Horace Ghost Skiing, the first computer game I ever owned, and I was always good at this, and um, yeah, it was quite fun watching him play this, but uh, he did well, but he didn't didn't touch my score, so that one came home to me. Then he gave me what I consider, me, the, the worst out of the three Target Renegades on the... This was on the Amstrad CPC. I didn't like it. I didn't like the way it, the the, en the engineering of it, the way it moves, the pincer movement. I mean, I didn't like the characters. I didn't a lot. I didn't like the tune, especially. It's completely out of tune. It's absolutely bollocks. And the pugs in this le level look like fucking eighty-year-old versions of Jeremy Corbyn. They look terrible. But um, love the Spectrum version. It's it's the pristine version in my opinion. And the Commodore 64. It's a fantastic soundtrack, but I couldn't cope with this. I did a second loop, but I, I couldn't uh, beat his score, so he won that one. Then I gave him an excellent version of Hypersports on the ZX Spectrum, um, and I slaughtered him on that in fairness. He was again using the joypad. Bad move. Not going to get anywhere on certain events doing that. So, uh, yes, I did. Uh, I completed that and uh, got a very good score with it. Um, next he gave me Kane, I just could not get on with this game at all, it was, I just couldn't get on with it, could not get on with it at all, he absolutely slaughtered me at it, so that one, that one went to Novabug, that victory to him, and then this, one of my favourite homebrew game on the ZX Spectrum, Dung Darak, or Dung Darak, um, 20 levels, got to move around the hippo shit and put it in the turd burger, um, followed by a sample of um, Beastie Boys yeah at the end and I did a game completion I was over the moon when I actually completed the game so a um, very good game that but uh, I won that one then uh, he responded with um, Buggy Boy on the Amstrad CPC a very nice version indeed uh, Commodore 64 is my favourite version of that but yes he did that gave me this on the Amstrad and I beat him <laughs> so that hurt, didn't it, mate? That hurt. That one came home to Zeus. Then, oh, this one did hurt. Another breakout game. Batty on the ZX Spectrum. I got to stage nine. He got to stage fucking nine, didn't he? Smart ass. And he beat me by points, so um, that one hurt. He found it quite easy. I found that a tough bastard, this game, but he won that one. That, that Yeah, that, that was a bit of a sour one. Then he gave me Green Beret on the Amstrad CPC, hated it. I got to level 2, he got to level 3, he beat me. Moving on, boring, horrible game. Followed by another classic game by me. Trapdoor, the Trapdoor on the ZX Spectrum. Both did a game completion, but I beat him by score. Uh, yeah, he had a different tactic to me. I don't believe that's the correct tactic, but each to their own. And I won that one. I was very over the moon that came home to Zeus. Great game, great program. Then he gave me Ghost and Gobbles on the Amstrad CPC. Frustrating as fuck. I hated it, but he got to the last level. I completed it. So that victory came home to Zeus. And I followed that up with the Commodore 64 version with a one life stip. I almost completed it with one life. Got right to the end on the dragon and died. But completed it after that with the remaining lives and uh, he got to the last level too but didn't get as far and didn't score as much so that one came home to me he then responded with paperboy on the amstrad cpc one of the smallest play area screens i've ever seen on a computer game it was literally like a letterbox 
and I got a little bit bored of it. I was never a real Paperboy fan, but he won that one. He zoomed away with that one. And then, oh, here we go. We're not going to open sour doors. We're not going to get into arguments. Um, but the fact of the matter is, the Stips were complete the game. Well, I didn't know that at the time until I completed it, but I completed it, so he had to complete it, then beat my score. He did beat my score. He was being a smart Alec, a smart ass, and trying to complete the game without losing a life, trying to show off. Very impressive. It doesn't mean shit, you didn't beat my score. So, so upset he was, he decided to put a poll out, and even that backfires. <laughs> and I had a little brief look at that poll, and 37% say that Novabug should have won. And yet the funny thing is, out of all the people that voted for him, not one of them left an explanation, because they couldn't bloody have one. There, there, there was no argument. Lives, uh, level, and... Uh, score I won that one so uh, that's a fact that one comes to me whether he outplayed me or not there's plenty of games I outplayed him but and uh, vice versa but we never complained so I don't know what got it into his head on this one I think he had what we call a blonde moment um, he ignored decided to ignore the steps for some reason and decide play playing more skillfully was is the awarded win and it isn't so I don't give a shit either I won that one Next, uh, he responded, no, yes, he responded with Operation Wolf. All versions, 8-bits have an excellent version of it, and it's an excellent game. He got to level 4. I managed to get to level 5. I was very over the moon with that, and um, he was quite appreciated of that. He respected that run. It was a good run, and I was quite happy with it too. So that one came home to Zeus. I then followed that up with Paul, trying to redeem my bloody Steve Davis snooker loss. Um... But that backfired on me, and I'll tell you, some bloody almighty flukes, to the point that even he was laughing. There was one particular shot, he, it was on his last shot, and he fluked it, and he gave him three more shots in return, and he went on to beat me. I, I, oh, that was really annoying. I thought he was down and out by about frame six, but somehow he clung on, just like bloody Pogo. So he beats me both at uh, both beige games on the, on the uh, Spectrum. The snooker bays and pool bays, very annoying. Um, then he gives me Dr. Destructo on the Amstrad CPC. Not a bad game, actually, but what surprised me is one a day or two later, he decides to upload a whole long play of it without cheats. I couldn't understand it. Why the fuck didn't you, why didn't you upload that? There's no way I would have beat that run. But he uploaded a run of about level 9, and I beat him. But if he uploaded that long play, there's no way I would have touched him out. He would have had that victory, but that, that, that didn't what happened. That went to me. And then one of my favourite games of all time, Oils Well, on the Atari 8-bit. 800XL, to be precise, I was playing it on. And, um, yes, he, um, he completed the game. Same as me, but he got a bigger score. Collected a few more cups than I did, but that's the way it goes. I'm not going to penalise him for that. Um, sod it. So, um, yes, that's uh, that goes to him. But, um, yeah, I was I was a bit bitter about that because the fact of the matter is I love that game and I wanted that to come home to Zeus. But there we go. Never mind. He won that one. That goes to Novabug. Simple as that. Um, and then we finished the, uh, the series off with his challenge to me, which was what we just played. Arkanoid 2 on the Commodore 64. And as you've just seen, or hopefully you've just seen, I beat him by literally half a second. One brick bounce. Matched the same level as him and just beat him thanks to one more bounce off of one of the bricks. And then I immediately died. So that was probably the closest We've been on any of the challenges. So the overall score is Zeus, 38 victories. Novabug, 23 victories. So now's the time to say, Novabug was a worthy challenger. He stepped up to the plate and faced Zeus. He came short. He tried, but he came short. But he showed great courage, but now's the time for him to take his pride into the horizon and disappear and retrain 
Maybe come back one day for a special, but you must go into the distance. Where one disappears, another warrior comes forward and faces Zeus. So who is the next challenger? Well, we know him now. If you tuned into the live stream he was selected, he is known as Mutant Caterpillar. So we will introduce him right now. And there he is, ready. The Rambo Caterpillar, waiting for a war. Raging war, weapons galore. Gonna face Zeus. Let's see how well you can do, Mutant. Mutant Caterpillar will be his name. You will know him as Mutant Caterpillar. So I'm going to now follow this with a challenge, my first challenge to him. It will carry on going up in numbers. The scores will be reset, but it will still be the challenge videos. Videos will still go up. So this will be his response will be challenge number 62. So listen up, Mutant Caterpillar. You're not going to have it easy to begin with. I'm not just going to simply hand it over to you. So here is your first challenge. Are you Caterpillar enough? Rambo-esque toughness enough to beat me at this challenge? Let's find out what it is. Gyroscope for the ZX Spectrum, a brilliant but very hard Marble Madness clone. And the challenge in this, mate, the rules are you've got to get to the highest levels you can. And each level has four screens. So if I was to get to, say, level three, screen two, you've got to get to level three, screen three to beat me. Or level two, uh, three and screen two, and it goes down to score. All right, so that's the challenge. Get as far as you can. Right, um, keyboard, let's crack on with it. Round one, or should I say level one? I've decided to use joystick, actually. To be honest with you, my quick shot two. It's such a hard game. First level is quite easy. I've managed to do this in with 45 left on the clock. A little bit slower this time. Get around that, yay. Right. <clears throat> and to start the next level, if you're using joystick anyway, you have to press the keyboard. Otherwise it doesn't, uh, it just stays in this tune all the time. Level two. Ah. Careful, up, oh, whoa. Now this is tight, you've got to be so accurate everywhere, bounce off the screen, slow down, screen two, level two, see, each level's got three, uh, four screens, round there, beautiful, come on, whoa, whoa, slowly, slowly, now we go, slow down, slow down, there. screen three, screen four, level two, that's a nice angle, that's a perfect angle. Straight up. Thank you very much. Level two done. Eight lives. Whew. There's five levels in this game. Never completed it. Now this is a bastard. Level three, screen one. This can be a bit tricky sometimes, but it's the last screen of this stage. It's a, it's bullshit, I tell you. You'll get frustrated with it if you get that far. And I'll tell you why in a minute. You'll see my frustration, I'm sure. There's no way I'm going to... My game might even end there. It usually does. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Go round. Nice. Level three. Screen three. Got to get through those barricades. Come on. There we go. This. This is bullshit. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, it's nowhere near me. That thing was... I had an inch between me and that thing. It's the collision detection of these two bastards. It sucks. It's bullshit. Fucking hell. Final screen of level three. Take your time. Whoa! Bounce off the screen. Yeah, you can bounce off the screen quite violently. See, look. Will you fuck off down there? That's what I want. Round it. See, I'm not even touching them. Shit collision detection lines. I got around that, but look at this guy. Oh, my bloody time has run out. All right, that's fine. You stay, you carry on where you are. Careful, slowly. Go down. See what I mean? He was, he, he, for fuck's sake. So frustrating. I can cruise up to this point and then they just screw me. Round that, round that, round that. That's it, slowly, slowly. Yes! Oh, yes!
that bit. Level four. Careful. Now, if I get past, not this screen, but the next one, this is tricky, then I'll beat my personal best. That's it. Now, I've never got past this screen. I've got five lives that don't mean nothing. See what I mean? I'm going to lose all my bloody lives here now, aren't I? So, level four, stage two. Level four, screen two. Whoa. Normally, I would race through that and I would have died. Take your time. Go. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Yeah, that's my personal best. I've never got... Oh, say, I've never got to that screen. Slowly. Get around there. Oh, oh. Steaming. Oh. How many eyes left? Two. Bloody hell, on the last screen of stage four, of level four. My time's going to run out. That's another life gone. Look at that bastard at the bottom. He's not moving. Need him to move, must just die here. Right, my last life. Can I get to level five? The final level. I've already beat my personal best. See, look at him, he's hovering it. I can't get past him to get to that black square. Take your time. I'm gonna have to go for it. Go for it now. Go, 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 come on, level five, go, 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 go. Yeah, yes! Level five! Never done that in my life. I've never got to level five. The final level. And I'm going to last about five seconds, if that, on this. I've done a long play of this with cheats and, and uh, with pokes. Uh, you can check that out on my channel. Got to go up there. I remember that. Up there. Right down. Oh! 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 Game over. Level five. Stage one. Level five. Screen one. With a score of 3,890. So that's your challenge, mate. That's what you've got to do. You've got to beat level five. Let me just uh, uh, stop the sound on that a minute. There we go. I can do it like that with this wonderful little device I got on my one to eight. Um, yes, you've got to get to. You've definitely got to get to the last level, level five. You've got to at least. Well, obviously, you get to screen one, and you've got to beat three thousand eight hundred and ninety. I was three screens away of completing gyroscope, but it might as well have been a, another ten levels it's so hard as you saw I only lasted about five bloody seconds on that right dude right looking forward to what you got next to me for plan for me next time in the next challenge and the next series oh, well it's one big series isn't it so let's just say let's see what you've got ready for me on the next challenge vid i'll be interested and always up for it so don't take me lightly until next time zeus out